Welcome back to my channel guys for the umpteenth time today or should I say now it's night time but you know um yeah it is time guys to hook that gorgeous beastie up to the tv and see how it performs look at the dirt on it already from the kids playing it all day and they of course but yeah it's time to hook this up to the tv and have a proper bloody play on it well as much as we can for that little bit of uh yeah, otherwise the video will be very long, wouldn't it, if I play them all, and for too long. But yeah, we're going to have a bloody good look at it, and see what this little doozy of a console does. Fantastic thing that it is. Yeah. Uh, obviously, fantastic packaging. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. And um, yeah, this is what we're going to be looking at, guys, because it's the only cartridge I've got. Unfortunately, my other games didn't turn up. I need a packing game to look at at the moment, but hopefully they'll turn up tomorrow, or at least some of them will turn up tomorrow, and then we can have a look at them as well in a separate video. So yeah, today it's the Namco Museum Collection 1, which is actually cartridge number 2 in the collection of Evercade games. More coming as well, guys. Like Atari Lynx, fantastic. So yeah, that's the one we're going to be looking at. A uh, little heads up, guys. Obviously, at the moment, um, you can only get a case for the Evercade on eBay, and you pay nearly 20 quid for one, which is flipping ridiculous. Well, I've discovered that Vita cases fit it nicely. Now, luckily, I've got a spare one, so I've grabbed that. But I'll just show you guys that for now, until more affordable cases are around, that this little baby fits very nicely into a Vita case, guys. So, yeah, lovely. So dig out your old beta case or buy yourself a cheap beta case and it will fit this. I can't guarantee they all do because it will be a bit of a snug fit on some of the cases. But this one, it does fit. So if you want to grab yourself a cheaper case for the moment, grab this particular beta case because, yeah, it does fit it. And this beta case costs you about a fiver for them, if that. So yeah, grab one of them guys. That is the best answer. And then you too can protect your beautiful new machine until a proper Evercade one, a more affordable proper Evercade one, comes along. So, yes guys, will you join me? Once again, upstairs, yeah, as we hook this beastie up for a change, not the switch, and see what it's like over the TV using that, uh, yeah. What is it? It's not a micro HDMI cable, guys. I made a mistake in one of my videos saying that. It's a, a, a mini HDMI cable that you need for this. And like I said, you don't get it in the box, guys. So you need to buy that separately. You get them on eBay for various prices, but maximum really about seven quid. And then you can hook this up to the TV if you want to. Mm. There we go, guys. So please join me, guys, as we do. Hook up Blaze's fantastic new Evercade handheld Hmm. cross home system when you plug it into the TV. Join me in a minute, guys. See you then. Right, here we go, you lovely people, with uh, this fantastic system. Isn't that stunning already, guys? Wow. Yeah, as I said earlier, only one cartridge guys at the moment my uh, other games did not turn up today unfortunately uh, so it's only the packing game which is namco museum this is uh, one of two cartridges that namco have uh, done for the evercade guys um yeah there's 11 games on here there's a mix of 8-bit and 16-bit games yeah i'll just show you the uh, system little menu that you can bring up we are that is a uh, screen ratio original size and full screen i'm going to keep it to original audio on and off language english and so on dutch italiano blah 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 yeah we're going to keep it to english 
legal and support. And at the bottom we've got A confirm and B exist. So we're going to come out of that now and back into the games guys. So we're going to have a look at what games we get on here. As I say, 11 titles. We have Battle Cars from 1993, 16-bit racing. We have Dig Dug, oh god I love this franchise so much, from 1985, 8-bit maze. Then we have Galaxian, another fantastic title, from 1984, 8-bit space shooter. Uh, Libble Rabble, or whatever it's called, from 1994, 8-bit action puzzler, never played it. That's probably why I'm not pronouncing it right. Then we have Mappy, another classic guys from 1984, 8-bit platformer. Then we have Mappy Kids guys from 1989. This is an 8-bit platformer as well, but it is uh, quite different from the original Mappy guys. This is uh, more in hmm, more like Alex the Kid, uh, Stroke, Super Mario. Next we have Metal Marine. Marines, even, from 1993, 16-bit strategy. Could never get my head around this one. I'm not very good with strategy games, full stop, because I'm too thick for them, probably. And we have Pac-Man. What a classic, guys, eh? Bit puzzled about the dates here. It says Japan 1984, which makes sense. Uh, USA 1993. Yeah, that was very late on. Don't think so, somehow. So I'm not really sure what that's in reference to. An 8-bit maze game, of course. Who doesn't know Pac-Man? You can live under a rock if you uh, don't know Pac-Man. Quad Challenge from 1991, which is a 16-bit racing game again. And we have Star Luster from 1985, 8-bit space simulator. And then we have one I can never pronounce. X X Voice? Well, I don't know. Something like that. I know you're all screaming at me. It's blah, blah, blah. Yeah, to me it's just, hmm, whatever. 1984, 8-bit shooter. And we have Battle Cars again, my back round again, guys. So yeah, nice little choice of games here. We'll start at the beginning, shall we? We'll take a look at Battle Cars and see how it runs on this beautiful system. Right, let's do that now. Hopefully there's a demo. Uh, I like that it's uh, 2020. That's very odd. <laughs> oh, there we go, guys. Nice soundtrack, guys, there. Oh, there's a demo. Brilliant. Me and Josh have decided this is a literal, if you melted, uh, Super Mario Kart and F Zero together. This is what you would get, and it's a stunning game. We've been playing it all day. It's fantastic. Especially Josh loves it. Right, shall we go in and play this thing? Right, here we go. One player, of course. Now we all know what I'm going to go for. The most metal-looking car. There we go, guys. Let's go for that one then. There we are, and away we go. Now I know it's, I'm going to have someone hit me immediately, so I've got to get going quick. There we go. And the aim is you shoot the other cars off the road, like this basically, if you can actually get them, you see. You get grenades, which are a lot easier. Ooh. He says, not getting them. <laughs> I'm going to be playing completely crap again, as always, no doubt. Oh, come on, you buggers. There we go, got him. Can we get him? No, we didn't get him. Oh, dear. Come on, get him. Oh, yes, one got him, yes. Oh, this, I tell you what, this is playing fantastic, guys. It sounds brilliant. It's playing fantastic. Oh, what can you say? It's it's, it's a stunner. There we go, guys. As I said, just a very quick play on that one. This gives me a chance to show you the uh, in-game menu. There we go. So you got a uh, return to game. 
you've got uh, state slot, save state, load state, settings, and quit game. And of course, we're going to go to quit game to take a look at the next one. Right, let's go and yeah. Oh, wrong one. What a wally. There we go. Right, back to the menu. Right, back in a sec with the next one, guys. Right, next up, guys, as you can see, is Dig Dug. This is a stunning franchise. I love it. I've uh, played all the modern ones as well, and I just love it. Brilliant. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at this one, then. See if any kind of demo comes up again. See, that's dated 2020 as well, so it's obviously towards the Evercade. Yep, there's a little bit of a demo there. There we go. Obviously, the aim of the game is to crush the, uh, whatever you want to call them, dinosaurs and what have you, monsters, with the rocks, or to blow them up by literally blowing them up. Doesn't appear to be any sound on the demo. Let's hope that's not an ongoing problem here. <laughs> right. Let's play this thing, shall we? Hopefully the sound will appear. Right, one player, yeah. Oh, there we go, sound's back. Yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. Get in, yeah, that's it. Yeah, again, guys, very quick play. Just to show you really what you've got to do here. Ah, you buggers. You really got me, didn't you? Hey. Yes, swines. Let's get him. Oh, you bugger. You got me. <laughs> he got me first. Oh, well. Well, the sound effects uh, stop there. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? They stop the music, I should say. We're just going to blow them up. Yeah, blow them up instead. That's fine. Whoa, I nearly got me, didn't he? Bugger. Got him, yes. Brilliant. <laughs> Give him a good run for his money, didn't I? Right, guys, so back into the menu. Quick game. There we go. And we'll be back with the next one. Right, the next one's another doozy, guys. Galaxian. Oh God, is this a gorgeous game still to this day. Right, here we go. Let's have a look, see if there's a demo. Right, doesn't appear to be. No? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, it's just the usual coming up there, guys. So, let's get into the game. Right, here we go. Gets pretty damn hard, this game. It looks very basic, but it gets pretty damn hard. Especially with those side swipers there. I don't know if it would be, that's for sure. Whoa, they're going to get me in a minute. <laughs> oh, this just, just plays fantastically. Oh, went straight into that one, didn't I? Come on, you buggers. Yeah, it plays fantastically, sounds fantastic. Yeah, can't fault it at all, guys. Not at all. Hey, nearly got me there. Oh, nearly. Oh, you swine. Oh, get away from me. Haha, <laughs> got him. Got him on return. Oh, this place stunningly. Just me playing badly. <laughs> oh. You're going to get me in a minute if I'm not careful. Way here we come sliding over to the side again. 
Come on, I just gotta get in now. Come on. You bugger, come on. Just gotta get you now, on the... Oh, and he got me as well. Oh, you sod. But anyway, guys, there you go. What a fantastic game. On to the next one, guys. Go back into here. Quick game again. There we go. Right. And on to the next one. Back in a sec. Another fantastic little game here, guys. Mappy Kids. This is very different to Mappy, if you know that game well. Let's have a look at this one, then. See if anything comes up. Right, demo-wise. Quick vape. Yeah, they're all uh, dated 2020, as you can see. Is this one not going to have a demo? It doesn't look like it, guys. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, here we go, guys. In two flame mode, the demo. So it's a bit of a court game by the looks of it there. <coughs> right. Yeah, fantastic. Here we go, then, guys. Let's play it. Oh, I'll let you read that in a minute. Pause if you need a longer. Right, there we go. Now this is uh, where it reminds you Super Mario guys, this map. And uh, it reminds you Super Mario in other ways as well as you're playing. Right, so let's go to the first bit here. There we go. Right, so you can jump uh, like that. And you can also keep your tail going, I do believe. Uh, oh yeah, like that, that's it. Hang on a minute. Uh, oh, that's it, yeah, so you can glide like that, yeah. You can jump over those, or you can hit them with the tail, or kick them. Yeah, it's kicking in action. And you collect all the gems that come out of these boxes, of course. Oh, you got me. It's fine. I've got the money at least. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going playing terribly again, guys. Right, let's go away. You can jump onto these mushrooms to get further up, of course. Really, we want those boxes, don't we? And the last box, there we go. And up to here. Oh, get him. That's it. There we go. And this is where you can jump onto the clouds. And you can keep yourself going like this. There we go. Back up here again, see if we can jump over to the can we? Let's have a look. Yes we can, great. Collect all the little bits and bobs. Now with this one you've got to jump. Ah, bugger, nearly got it. <laughs> oh, get out of his way in a minute. There we go. Right, okay, on this one you've got to jump of course and keep your tail going. That's it, like that. There we go. So yeah, doozy of a game guys, again. Very quick play again. Uh, let's back into the menu. That is absolutely fantastic. Sounds brilliant. Looks gorgeous. So yeah, you can't fault it again, guys. And back into the menu. Right, on with the next one. Obviously, guys, I've just been picking what are my favourites out of the 11. And uh, this video would not be complete if I didn't cover Pac-Man, would it? So yeah, it goes without saying, Pac-Man has got to be done. Right. Let's see what this brings. Yep, the date's 2.20 again. <laughs> uh, 2020 again, guys. Yeah, right, here we go then. Let's have a look. It's Pac-Man, guys, isn't it? What can you say? And I know from the kids playing endlessly today that this plays very, very well. Let's see if we can actually clear one lot here. That would be good. We kind of aim at the pits more than the ghosts, so we do need to get a high score, of course. Oh, Mr. Cherries. Missed out on the cherries, guys. Oh, and they're going to get me in a minute if I'm not careful there. Oh, I'll get up there quick, come on. That's it. <laughs> you swines. You're all coming for me now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm coming for you now. Oh no, maybe I won't be. Oh, we got them too. That's good. 
Let's get these rather. They're going to at least try and clear one screen. Oh, they're all coming for me now, look. Ha 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 ha. They're all coming. I've got to get down here, of course. Oh, you swine, you got me. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, this is not much more to grab. Come on in. That's it. Come on, you. And there. That's it, up there. And up here, guys. Yeah, it's Batman, guys, and it's fantastic as usual. What a game. Right, let's go into the menu again. Here we go, back to quit game. Yeah, stunning game, that. Still to this day. Right, back with the next one. Right, for the last uh, game that I'm going to do on this video, guys, I thought we'd take a look at Quad Challenge. I've never played it. I don't know how it handles or anything. It's a 16-bit game. But let's see what it does. Never played it before, but hopefully it's going to be good. 2020 again. So, yeah, it's a definite ongoing theme for the Epic I'm sure. Have we got a problem? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh no, here we go. It was just me being silly. Right, okay. This looks very intriguing. Okay. I like the way there's language. That's, uh, that's brilliant. That there's actually speech on here. That's fantastic. Wow, what a doozy. Right, here we go then. Choose your race. Yeah, that'll do. Funny seeing quads instead of uh, like the big bikes. Oh, there we go. Right, who am I then? Who am I? Right, am I the bottom one or what? No, I'm the top one. Okay, why well, have I gone into a two-player mode? I do not know. But we'll keep going with it. That's fine. I'm nowhere near him, of course. He's well ahead of me. I'll tell you what, it handles nicely. Yeah, very, very nicely. The drifting on it's fantastic. Must be said. I'm not getting anywhere close to the, uh, catching the other one, I don't think. Oh, hey. Very uh, simple for a 16 bit. I would have thought there would have been a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more graphics, but uh, yeah, handles all right. It's not bad at all. Sound seems to be uh, good enough. Uh, no music, just sound effects. As I say, I've never played it before. I don't know if this is how it played originally. But, yeah, it seems to be all right. I don't know whether I chose by accident to go to two player, I really don't know whether he's obviously beating my ass. Let's see if we can just get to the finishing line at least. For the six of the video and all that. Oh god, he really was ahead of me, wasn't he? Yeah, blind me. Well, there we go, I made it to the finish line, guys. Uh, I have to say, hmm. Not very impressed with the graphics on that one. Uh, but that of course has got no reflection on the other cable whatsoever. It's the just this game, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, it played all right. It was something I would have expected to see on the Game Gear rather than on here, um, or what would have been originally on the, uh, a 16 bit system. But yeah, it was all right. Uh, it was all right for a bit of fun, I suppose. But yeah, that was another good one, guys, I presume. They haven't played it before, that it sounded all right and what have you. Into the menu, and just because that one. Mm, wasn't really my yeah, my bag, if you like. I mean, I love racing games, but I didn't really enjoy that one very much, I must say. We're going to go in and play one more, guys. Let's have a look. Uh, which ones have we not done yet? Oh, we haven't done Mappy yet, have we? So let's do Mappy quickly, guys, as well. So here we go. Let's play Mappy. He says. Right, let's see if this brings a demo up or anything. Yeah, there we go, there's a demo. Let's let that play. No sound again on the demo. 
this is literally just collecting as many of the items as you can using the trampolines of course to propel yourself to another level and going through doors and so on right let's try one there oh yeah the music's back guys oh, my God. oh i can't remember what you got to there seriously what a plank let's collect that quick oh no 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 you bugger Yes, I'm doing really well here, aren't I? Oh, it's surrounding me. Oh, that was terrible. Right, I've got to try again. Yeah, all right, rub it in. Ah, oh, yes, slime. Oh. I can't remember. What you've got to do? Ah, oh, that's it. To open the door, you just do that. Of course, yeah, but they've got me already. Ah, uh, you got me because you recovered in time. Yeah, I'm not doing very well here, am I? Terrible. <laughs> oh no, don't want to play. Go back up, Libra. Go back up. Right, okay, let's try again. Why are you not going back up? Oh, oh well then, that's interesting, isn't it? We seem to have a crash on our hands here. Right, let's go into here and quit game. Yeah, so that's the first little snag that's come up there. It uh, crashed on me, the uh, buttons. Right, let's uh, go to that. And of course we'll go back in again. Here we go. Right, see if I can do a bit better this time. Probably not. Oh, they got me again, look. Yeah, I think I'm just wasting my time here, aren't I? Yeah. Oh. Terrible! Absolutely terrible. Oh dear. I never was very good at mapping. Uh, that just shows you that I'm not lying. I'm terrible at it. Right, let's try again one more time. Then I think we're just going to give up. <laughs> oh dear. There we go again. Oh, I see the corner me straight away, don't I? Oh, and then I can't get away. <laughs> Oh, abysmal, guys, abysmal. I agree. Totally abysmal. Oh, you swine, get away. Oh, get away. Oh, that's it, come. Oh, now they're going to get me again. But... Oh, no, maybe not. Not if I can get it. Oh, they got me again. Yeah, they got me again. Oh, you know, I'm going to give up. I never was good at mapping and I never will be. So there you go, guys. But it seems to be playing all right. Uh, that was a little snag there with the with the controls, but that was unfortunate. All right, here we go. Let's quit. And there we go. Right. So anyway, guys. Oh my God, what a stunning little handheld. What a stunning little handheld and over the TV, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I can't highly recommend it enough. I don't know what that little that little niggle there was with the uh, buttons. That could be something to do with the uh, the button mapping uh, thing that they had. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. It never did that when Josh was playing it, and he played it for a long, long time in the uh, in the handheld, of course, mode, um, and it played beautifully. So I don't really know what that was. It might have just been a one-off. I don't know. But I can't highly recommend this system enough. And I'm looking forward to my other cartridges turning up. And then we can have a proper good old look at it, can't we? So yes, guys. I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Having a look at, yeah, the Blaze Evercade. Playing the Namco Museum, guys. Because it's the only cartridge I've got at the moment. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Very, very quick play on each one of those games, and I was being very picky about which ones I chose. Wish I hadn't chose Mappy Mind, because it really did my head in. But there we go. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to say off with this and choose and goodbye, guys, and I'll see you very soon with some more games for the Evercade. Bye, guys. See you soon.